We're going into youthful looking mothers yes. uh, for the glowing it's youthful all about mother. Health. It's all about health. Yeah. And I like that because <laughs> these are mothers, I mean, you're not looking at your perfect tens walking the catwalk, but you're looking at women who look like the perfect ten and who actually deserve it because they are mothers uh, and they actually can rock it. So yes, yeah, for all especially the one there. who's talking right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go, <laughs> rock it. Yeah. So let's talk about glowing youthful mother. We've got our guests in the studios. Let's uh, uh, welcome Mr. Sudhir Gandhi, who conceptualized basically the glowing youthful mother contest. He's also the event director and regional director of Mega Life Sciences, uh, Sundaram Berhad, and also the coach and member of board of Mega Life Sciences, who are the main organizers of the glowing youthful mother contest. Next to Mr. Sudhir, of course, is Dr. Rajman Singh. Now, tell me you don't know this man uh, and you know what to shoot yourself. You can always hear his voice. Yes. On the radio. That's right. And uh, Dr. Rajman is a consultant physician at Pantai Hospital KL and president of Malaysia Wellness Society. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Good Thank morning. You. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Thanks for joining well, us. Well, Sudhir, uh, let's talk about this glowing youthful mother contest. You know, this is back for the second year round. How was the response last year? Uh, I'm sure it was, I mean, I, I know it was really a big hit. But can you share with us as well? Uh, what makes this contest unique? We had a good response last year and last year was the first attempt to hold such an event and mm. this is for mothers you know? mm -hmm. and mothers in the 30s, 40s and 50s and uh, when we said we are going to do it on the lines of a pageant not many women could believe it that we'll have women at that age you know going up on the ramp and doing a Walking catwalk, catwalk and yes. <laughs> but the whole the whole idea behind the contest as we mentioned on the show last year also was to promote awareness on health Mm -hmm. healthy lifestyle and uh, promote awareness on micronutrients which we form as a core business for us and also to bring out the awareness on the essential wellness pillars mm -hmm. last year more focus on skin health but this year we're going into a little more uh, deeper with four wellness essential pillars not only skin health but also heart health liver health joint health mm -hmm. which are so important for people in the age group 30 to 60 mm -hmm. not only women we could have had a a glowing father's contest as well. But we know, you know, doctor yeah. would uh, probably agree with me. Mothers are more serious a lot. We believe That's they're right. very, yeah. very yeah. Uh, sincere about health and they are the people who promote good health in a family yeah. That's true. and uh, play a very important role in uh, promoting health at large in the society. Mm -hmm. We cannot so have glowing father's contest because Dr. Rajvan would, would win. Oh, it's and not. <laughs> <laughs> it won't let me compete. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole idea is to, you know, create a platform to bring about awareness and uh -huh. this we are fortunate to have Malaysian Wellness Society who are associated with us for the contest. Fantastic. Dr. Rajbans and his team are doing a lot of good work in preventive health in the country and uh, they do a lot of things to promote healthy living, live longer, live, live, uh, healthy. live healthier. Yeah. So I think uh, we had some synergy where we thought and so we're putting up this contest together this year. It's uh, more or less on the lines of what we organized last year. Mm -hmm. And the contest is going to run in about six months time with the starting with entries now. Right now, the entries are going on and the closing date is June 30th. Okay. So what we like to tell our viewers, those mothers who are looking at participating in this contest, don't waste any further time. Yes. Please do make sure that you put in your entries yeah. as fast as you can. Yeah, and, the <laughs> <laughs> and the prize money is for real. The prize money is for real, 25,000 yeah. ringgit cash. 25,000 ringgit. Yeah, it's gone up five times. Alone. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And even the first runner-up prize is 10,000, second right. runner-up prize is five. All put together, there's cash and gift prizes worth over 50 thousand ringgit which yep. uh, will be you know awarded to mm. the contestants fantastic right. and as we go along there'll be boot camps mm -hmm. there'll be boot camps and um, where a lot of mothers will get an opportunity to go through sessions on health wellness tips and uh, Mm. Uh, also get a little bit of uh, uh, coaching on how to do the catwalking and yeah. dance gigs and of course because the final event of course will be like uh, any other beauty pageant done on the international lines with That's all right. the glitter and glamour yep. and um, it's beauty uh, on the outside event. and healthy on the inside absolutely you cannot be you know just good outside yes so it has to be inside as well to really give you the real health Mm. Fantastic. Now we're looking at some clips from the one that was hap uh, that happened oh last yeah. year, mm -hmm. yeah. and I think these mothers really had a great time. Oh yeah. Looking at uh, yeah. look, just looking at the the, the smile on their faces. Um, coming to Dr. Rajpans. Yeah. Why did uh, the Wellness Society of Malaysia decided to partner up with yeah. uh, this uh, contest this year? I think like what Mr. Sudhir said when he came and told me what he was doing, I thought uh, you know we as a society we call the Wellness Society. Our main aim is actually to educate people on preventive health. 
you know and you look at the statistics of our country malaysia it's uh, not very nice you know the amount of people getting diabetes the amount of people getting heart attacks throat cancers and uh, it's increasing every year that's right and i think we need uh, maybe contest like this some you know some sort of people to educate people to create an awareness and then maybe these ladies can be the ambassadors you know and uh, we find that all over the world uh, it is the women who seem to be leading the wellness revolution <laughs> you know and it's it's the you know as just speaking with experts from australia america we had a big uh, healthy aging conference and it's the 30 to 50 55 year old women who seem to be more proactive they're taking care of themselves mm-hmm. and then once they become proactive they get their fathers their brothers their husbands their boyfriends to get involved their children to get involved with wellness revolution so if we can get these women to be excited about wellness yep. and they are the ones who are going to be proactively going out because they are not going to cook in the house they are not going to do a lot of things That's at true. home and then they can educate all the men around them yeah. that this is the way because i think preventive health is the future because mm. uh, they talking of personal health preventive health and we want to get away from disease you know mm. because it's not good you know as we live That's longer true. this is not what we want to have That's true. That's true. Yeah. And as as we get busy and busy in life, you know, you have to look up to your health right. a little more right. what with, yeah. you know, mm. the way the world is going Absolutely. at the moment. As a matter of fact, this program is not just for women or mothers. Yeah. Through women, mothers, we also Uh, make it like a family event. Last mm. year we had children also come along with oh, mothers on the mm. on the stage who did a yeah. dance thing. So again this year again we'll have mothers yep. to bring in the family but more through video pictures and on which will be showing up mm-hmm. on the final day and uh, also through this contest we also expect to make the families bond closer. Yeah. You know because health is an important issue for everybody. Sure. Sure. And uh, if you're healthy you can enjoy a lot of thing you know the, the doctor talks about you know wealthy w a l t h y yeah. malaysians and <laughs> w e l l t h y well time malaysians i think if you not well That's very uh, well the well the wealthy is not really <laughs> worth it yeah now so they're coming back to the contest itself you're looking for mothers uh what would the criteria be that you're looking into i mean you'll have uh, you're looking at mothers 30 40s 50s 60s maybe no. yeah no? until 60s S- until, until 60s, 60s yeah, yeah. All right. the cut off date is as on march 31st they have to be lesser than 60 years of okay. age yeah. and above 30 years of age okay and what are the other criteria the criteria of course is uh, you know it's is is uh, not only the physical aspects but also how they they have an attitude towards nutrition mm-hmm. and especially micronutrients and knowledge and understanding on micronutrients mm-hmm. and the ability to deal with question answers on the day of the program yep. what will happen is this year what we've done is the contest we formatted slightly differently okay mm. we expect the uh, auditions to happen uh, in mid july where we expect to call about 500 odd participants last right. year we had call 150 so the number is growing They're now increasing yeah. it this year is that uh, Dr. So, Rajivan's one's one one of the judges uh, he is part of the wellness society yep. who would be definitely on the on the side where we'll do health assessment check mm-hmm. for yeah. the uh, contestants because the age group is 30 to 60 so yeah. age gap is quite a lot yeah. so what we need to do is also make a biological age assessment oh. not only the physical aspect yes. you could be 50 but you may be like you know 20 25 right. you know so it's so a biological got, age we got a way to assess that yeah. so, so like real age and yeah. real age yeah, yeah that's, that's right. where the wellness society is coming in so we make an assessment on the biological age assessment on basically on health parameters mm-hmm. and along with that we have the physical parameters the photogenicity the 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 ability to catwalk mm-hmm. the ability to handle questions and all this will make us shortlist about 100 contestants which mm-hmm. will appear and these contestants will appear for uh, what we call as a mini pageant right. at the publica on September 2nd which is a sunday mm-hmm. and while that is going on we'll also have a voting process we mm-hmm. will have our uh, pgm what we call as a privileged globe members mm-hmm. who are loyal customers for micronutrients do a s- online voting to shortlist 20 contestants and also people who are on the facebook uh, page of our uh, glow forever page on the facebook will also do a shortlist so mm-hmm. from the 100 we'll bring to 20 shortlist candidates who will come through a voting process mm. and then the finale will happen on november 3rd and where mm. we have these judges uh, this time very eminent judges from the film fashion tv industry uh, we have miss nonis vara who's an actress director tv director uh, uh, actress and director but then we have amber shia she's a well known actress mm. international model and we have daphne iking also uh, actress yep. model and mr uh, bond designer yeah. he's he's a designer and a fashion image consultant yeah. so these are our these are judges for us for for this year 
and how the contestants perform on that particular evening I and mean, the rest of it will be to the judges to look at you know somebody who impresses with the personality and also you know some aspiring moments as a mother and a woman will take away the coveted award. Yeah. Well, yeah. Doctor, uh, what can you expect from the uh, Wellness Society of Malaysia uh, from this uh, pageant, uh, or from this contest, as well as, uh, you know, looking into the products of uh, this, from this company, Mega Life Sciences in Emberhad, yeah. uh, how people should actually incorporate uh, consuming this uh, product? Yeah. I think the main thing the society is going to do is, one thing is very interesting, we'll get 500 people who are going to come for these uh, assessments, yeah. and that is Itself, I think so this is a big data yeah. to look at 500 women to see how much how many of them actually are aging well the real age the biological age and then as we process course we're going to see how many of them actually improve yeah. the final that's going to be actually a boot camp so we actually come and educate them we give them talks and all and also do the assessments again and see how many how many of them actually improve over the last three months right. and that is itself a big data and that itself we can actually support and tell how you know some supplements can actually help you age well yeah, so for all the contestants coming, we also have some complimentary membership and free discount vouchers being passed on to all the contestants. So that's another add-on they'll get, apart from, of course, the yep. name and fame they get as yep. uh, participants and cash prize. All right. Well, contest, gentlemen, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, we'd love to chat more, but we're running out of time. But yep. let's very quickly give this out. GYMC. Youthful Mother Contest 2012. Yep. So the website is gymc.com.my and you can also log on to the facebook.com slash glow forever. All right, closing date is June 30th. Uh, you, your applications can uh, be sent into GYNC anytime. Now remember, if you're 30s, 40s or 50s, there you go. You can actually participate in this. And yep. it doesn't matter what shape, size you are in. You're a mother, you're beautiful. That's all you need to know. Who knows you can win 25,000, 10,000, 5,000? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, gentlemen. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you.